Back in 2007, uh, we were all struck by um, a reflection on the previous administration that uh, often a criticism that was levelled at it was that it lacked a, a, a strategic and central focus, um, that the agenda of the government was um, you know, a, a well-meaning agenda, but it wasn't, uh, in times of conflict over uh, priorities and policies, it wasn't absolutely clear where the central focus of the government rested. And we considered that in opposition, and that led essentially to the formulation of the position that the Scottish Government would take at, its, at the core of all of its activities, um, or assume at the core of its activities, a central clarity that the purpose of our administration was to support uh, increasing sustainable economic growth within Scotland. And that judgment may seem like, a, in, in, in many respects, a sort of statement of, uh, of, of the bleeding obvious, but it's very important to specify and to set out exactly the, uh, the, 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 uh, the prioritisation that goes into uh, the thinking of government and the identification of the issues that matter to government and what will underpin the approach that we take forward. As a consequence of doing that, um, I think we've established through a period of uh, enormous economic turbulence a clarity about how we respond to particular events and how we can configure res uh, uh, approaches that can most uh, meet the needs of the public and the economy at such a turbulent time. And that has led us to um, formulate an approach to supporting the economy which is essentially built on um, a, a number of key components of economic intervention which I'll run through in a moment which I think have enabled us to um, not to withstand the uh, economic pressures that we've faced because clearly the Scottish economy has been uh, undermined <coughs> by the events of the last four years um, but has given us the ability to deliver a the, the management of an economic difficulty that, in Scottish terms, has been less severe and less long-lasting than it has been for the rest of the United Kingdom. So having established that our principle, our purpose, was to support increasing sustainable economic growth, the Scottish Government determined how we would then translate that into reality. And that essentially has taken, uh, been, has taken shape through the Government's economic strategy, but it's taken shape through um, three particular uh, strands which are fundamental to how the government uh, proceeds. First thing, we've identified um, growth companies in the Scottish economy, companies that we believe and our agencies believe have got the potential to grow significantly and to contribute to that economic growth within Scotland. Um, that totals over 4,000 companies, uh, some of them are large companies, some of them are very small companies, but in, in common they all have growth potential to contribute to the Scottish economy. And increasingly, I think we're beginning to see the fruits of that categorisation of companies and identification with uh, support offered by our enterprise agencies and by the ability of government to reinforce much of what the, uh, these organisations and uh, these companies are doing uh, to contribute to the generation of more economic opportunities within Scotland. So the first part of the, the, the process was to identify those growth companies in a range of growth sectors. The second part of the, uh, of, of the analysis looking at where the um, Scottish economy strategically had the opportunities to expand. So there's no surprise that our focus has been on the field of energy, uh, on life sciences and financial services, the creative industries, uh, tourism, food and drink and the university community representing the seven sectors that we consider to have the greatest potential. And I think over the last four years we have uh, substantively grounded that strategy very effectively in, um, in all of the economic interventions that we've taken forward. The element which, the third element which has required much more attention and much more focused effort to try to turn it into reality has been the focus on growth markets because one of the limitations of the um, uh, the work of the Scottish company base at present is that we simply do not have enough companies who are uh, active internationally um, in terms of their business operations. And if I was to identify 
one theme of the government's current economic strategy, which is the the element that requires the greatest transformation in the contribution uh, of the company base in Scotland, it is the focus on internationalisation of the company base because that essentially recognises that the markets into which we have habitually uh, traded are going to be for the foreseeable future pretty um, becalmed markets and the opportunities for growth are going to exist within um, the Far Eastern economies and some of the other emerging economies with whom we have growing but uh, not sufficiently large uh, business opportunities.